asked the Islamic scholar. There was a question. Is it true that children are born by the fate of a man, and the sustenance or money is by the fate of a woman? The answer is, no it is not true. The birth of the children and the sustenance or money is by the fate of both a man and a woman. If it is written in the fate that you will receive excessive amount of money then you will. If it is written in the fate that you will not receive excessive sustenance then you will not, regardless of your gender, a man or a woman. In some societies it is becoming a big issue. Sometimes a husband loses all the money and he starts to blame his wife for that. He accuses her that because of her fate, he has become poor. It is absolutely unfair treatment. Sometimes a family faces a childlessness state. People start to blame women for not having children, or sometimes a man is blamed. These are all baseless blames. <laughs> Whomever Allah wills, blesses with daughters. Whomever he wills, blesses with sons. Whomever he wills, blesses with both. And whomever he wills, does not give any child. So these things are by the will of the God. To make someone childless, or bless with children, or to give excessive money or not. To blame someone for these things, is completely against the teachings of Sharia and Islam. When a woman is childless, she is already undergoing a stressful situation, and on the top of that when people start to say that she is cursed, this is why she is childless, this is a very big crime to torture her for something which is beyond her control. It could be a medical condition and might have a cure. This is usually in illiterate families. But in some cases, even the literate people blame women of being cursed. For example, if a man was rich before getting married, but after the marriage he became poor, he starts to blame a wife for that. Saying, since she has entered my house, we have started to face numerous problems. You should always put yourself into other shoes. Saying these kind of things breaks the heart of the other person. What if someone will tell you these things on your face, that you are cursed and prone to problems? Just keep in mind, Blaming others is a very bad thing to do, and you will have to answer to the Lord Almighty at the Judgment Day. So if you have a family problems, try to correct yourself instead of blaming others. In one of the narrations of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, there is no concept of curse in Islam. Thank you for watching. May Allah, Lord Almighty, help you to follow the guidance which he bestowed to his messengers. Amin.